But when I built this house, I said it can be anything. You can even live with five wives here. <laughs> anything. Because there are more than enough wives. I beg, one wife, please. Yeah. What is next for, the, for Ayamaru's YouTube channel? So after half a million, I'll... Wow. Whew. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. I must say, this, this is one of the most difficult videos to make because the travel commander himself, Ayamarwa, is a very busy man. I must tell you, I've been here for a few days. I'm not joking. Nobody works as hard as that guy. He works so hard. I have to spend extra two days for this video to come to life, and I'm sure you're going to love it. With the idea of this video, we are going to be giving you a tour of Villa Medicine. This is the mansion that we are on the rooftop of the mansion that Ayamara is building in his hometown, uh, Yabohanse. I'm going to give you guys a tour of this place to show you how Villa Medellin looks like. After that, we are going to meet Ayamara in person to ask him the reason why he is building Villa Medellin. You know, we keep on hearing Villa Medellin. What is Villa Medellin? Is he an Airbnb? Is he a hotel? Is he a Playboy mansion? Is he... <laughs> what is it? So. We are going to be asking Ayamara these questions in this video. So if you're watching this video for the first time, if it's the first time on this channel, please kindly subscribe and turn on the post notification. I'm going to be giving you guys an exclusive tour of Villa Medellin. And we're going to be asking some of your questions. For some of you who are asking for how much a, an acre of land costs in Yabohanze, for some of you who are asking all those questions, uh, I'm going to be asking that question to Ayamara. Make sure you watch this video to the end. We have to start from here. This is the front view of Villa Medellin. So from here, we go inside, show you the room. This, according to Yamara, there will be swimming pool over here. Go straight down, but we'll come back to that. And let's, we also ask Marwa about that. So let's start from here. As you can see, they are just working on the towels. As a real fan of Ayamara, we will try to guess the owners of each room and everything. If you're watching Marwa's video very well, you will know all these things whenever you come to this place. So let's try. Anyone I don't get right, comment below if you know the rooms of every person in this place. So let me give you a tour of this place. So I think. This is the dining over here. This is the dining. And uh, let's just start from here. My friend Mambo. Over here, that is the dining and a little kitchen, I guess. And uh, there's a back room over here. Wow. And people are still working on here. You know, Mara is having a party next month, November. So work is going here. As in, different things are going on here, 24-7. The Wi-Fi, the electricity, the towels, the doors, the repainting, everything. That's why Emma is so, so, so busy. Even for him to, for him to even be on this video, if we have to wait for two days. You know what that means? Wow, guys, this is Villa Medellin. Actually, this place seems very big, so big in the, in the in real life than the picture. So, you see over here, it's a very tall roof. Wow. And over here, I guess this is Diana, um, the Wangon's side of the mansion. <laughs> The one that made this might be the last time I enter this place. Maybe. <laughs> oh, here's the toilets. Wow. This might be a little kitchen. Okay, wardrobe, I guess. Wow. And uh, if you look out here, this is where there will be swimming pool. Imagine waking up here and there's water over here. Then look at the forest. Wow. I guess. I just love the glasses and they're very, very strong. Look, super strong. Wow. 
the one girl. I just invaded your pro your privacy. <laughs> hey Jesus. Wow. And also there's a lobby over here. Wow guys, look at this. So let's go to the other part of the place. I love this little space over here because I think okay here is another room. Wardrobe or kitchen. Wow, this is another room over here. Wow. This is a kitchen over here. Wow, guys. Here. Oh, this compound is super big. Super, super big, guys. Let's continue. So, wow, there are so many rooms here. You even get lost. This one, this place is called Villa. It's not a house. This is a villa. Like I told you, so many things are going on at the same time. You can see the lights are being fixed. So many things are going on at the same time. You know what that means? Wow. Even up there, so many things are going on. Some are for Wi Fi, some are for electricity. So, wow, this is another exit to the back door. Wow, this, this is where. Hey, ma'am, how are you? <laughs> Wait a I think this is a, kind of more like a car park, but this place, this place is also for car park. Let me know if I'm right. This should be for car park. It's just double. Maybe this one for gym. Okay, for gym equipment, workout, yoga. And over here is toilet for maybe, yes, for this place. So let's pass from here. From the gym, you have access to, okay, still the parlor. And over here, this is where Amara called the creative room. It's actually very big, actually. It's bigger than. Let me start from here. Wow, see, from here down to that side. And it's actually wide. See, I can't even touch it from there. This is the creative room. Of course, as a creative, you need to have space like this, where you have your editing, editing, computers, your gaming stuff, your music production stuff. Wow, and there's also a ventilation. That's so nice. And also there's a standby power. I am Marwa. So it's time to go up, right? Let's go up. Wow. We took five minutes to show you downstairs. That's to show you how big this place is. For us to use five minutes. <laughs> so let's continue here. Wow. Yeah, when you come up here. Jim, this place is so big, guys. Yeah. Look this way. I think this is. Uh, this is. Wait. Wait, I'm coming. We have to get it right. My friend, remember? Uh -huh. Wow, guys. There will be some. Some wheels here. An iron bar from here to that side for safety. Then from here, you can see what is. <coughs> Happening down here. Wow, Villa Medici. Villa Medici. Wow, guys. This place, I'm thinking of. Okay, this place is for Aaron. I guess so, yes. This is Aaron's room. This one. This is the kitchen that will be used by Aaron and people who decide to sit here or this part. So let's check out Aaron's room. <laughs> Is this Aaron's room? Wait. Wow. Guys, yeah, this place is confusing. That's why it's a villa. <laughs> Need to be confusing. Eh? Wait, okay, this is the outside. No, 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 not this one. I don't think it's this one. Wow, guys, look at this one. Hey, how are you guys? Yeah, you're working hard. Keep it up. You guys have water in abundance. There's water everywhere. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's continue. 
This place, I just want to know. I don't think this is Errol's room. No, it's not. It's not. Wait, let me see. Let's check this one. Hey, guys, I'm lost. <laughs> hey, no, 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 not this one. Wow, oh, I'm in front of the house. Wait. No, 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 no. Should this place? Hey, wait. I entered from here. No, this is not your own room. It should be this one. It should be this one. Okay. Uh, okay, it should be this one. It should be this one. Yes, it's this one. Yes. It's this one. Wow. Guys, look how big. Look how big that place is. This is Aaron's room. This is Aaron's room here. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember. Yes. Wow. Very big shower space. Very, very big. People already bring you some pots. <laughs> hey! People are bringing some pots for the party. Okay, they're about to start to work over here. Wow, look at this place. So many lights. This is what this place is for creators because lens need light. Wow. <laughs> so we have gone to this place. Okay, let's go to this side. Let's go to what is it this side? Okay, this is uh, Ayamara's place. Yes. This is Ayamara's place. I remember, this is the master's. So you go in. This is Ayamara's place. You see? Wow. So many lights. Wow. Wow, the lobby is so big. So this window is different. You can see from here to outside, but someone from that side can see it through you. That is nice. And this is where you still have the swimming pool, I guess. Yes. This is where you have the swimming pool down to that side. And look at the view. Hey, I like how he left this tree. This is one of the aesthetics. The aesthetics. And when you walk down here, you just walk into the room. Hey, my friend. Okay, let's continue. Well done, well done. That's toilet. Oh, imagine. Everything will be ready very soon. Imagine they're already fixing toilets. That is WC, water closet. That is a very big bathroom. Okay, wait well on, guys. Can we have this talking guys? Yes, hello, how are you? hello, I'm fine. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Guys, I've, I've gotten lost here for like. For the longest time. I've gotten lost here countless times. <laughs> so let's go up. Wow, the lights here are automatic. Okay, I think they are having a small issue. So let's go up. Wow, guys, imagine how far, how long it took to tour Villa Medellin. Try. And this up here, according to the travel commando Ayamara, he said this up. There will be. Uh, chopper, helicopter can actually land here. That's to show you how strong the house is. Wow, the, the up is so so big, guy. Ooh, this place is super big, guy. Let me let me show you guys something. It's like a football pitch. <laughs> so I was I was at this edge to show you guys how big this place is. Look, it's like a football pitch. Look at the other the other end. 
and it took us almost 20 minutes to tour this place hey guys man this is the up wow guys i'm sure during the party though i won't be here but during the party i know that this up will be full of people this up will be the best place to stay during the even people are coming with tents they can just come and camp up here because this up will be so 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 nice to stay imagine the views if i was coming to the if i was coming for the party i would have preferred to stay this up man i just put tents Whew, look and the breeze here is super nice man. wow wow this place is far bigger in real life look at the compounds super big it's, it's bigger than a football pitch i wonder how many hectares or how many acres of land is this Gee. okay so let's go down and meet with the travel commando himself ayamara we have some key questions to ask him and one of the questions is we want to know why he's building this mansion is it uh, a hotel is it a motel is it a playboy mansion <laughs> is it a, 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 just we want to, because this house is not just for personal use it's big and when you hear about villa villa medellin most of you have been have been asking what is villa medellin as in what is the mansion for so let's go down and meet with ayamarua and ask him these questions and more so if you're watching this video for the first time please kindly subscribe to the channel because we are traveling around Africa to show you everything you need to see about Africa. So kindly subscribe. But you've been here. You've seen my life how it is. It's, it's so busy. It's I, have, I have to spend extra two days yeah. to get this interview done because I know it's very like important. Like yesterday you were here, right? Yes. The whole day. And I, I was there. Out. I saw how you were so busy. Yes. So bro, my question is people always see Villa Medici, Villa Medici. Yes. I wanted to ask you. We can what, walk away. Yeah, because of noise. Tiles. Yes. Whoa. So I wanted to ask, what is Villa Medellin? Because this house is so big and I know yeah. you have a futuristic plan for it. Yes. What is Villa Medellin? Is it a hotel? Is it a Playboy's mansion? Yeah. <laughs> what exactly is Villa Medellin? Maybe we can face this way because of the sound. Yeah, so, you have so, you're, so, you're mastered the art of this. Yes. So the thing is this. Uh, when I build this house, I said it can be anything. Okay. It can be even a school. It can be a children's home. It can be a bank. Okay. It can be five people living in in one house like this. Okay. It can be one person's house. It can be a club. Okay. It can be a restaurant. It can be a hotel. Wow. It can be literally anything okay. it can fit. Wow. Think of something that you want to do with the house and I will tell you how this. Think of anything. Um, Kratos house. Kratos house. Yes. I think for example here we can even use this to film like movies or music Perfect. videos yeah. or things like that like we can have anything this house can be anything wow yes you Thank can you even so live, you can even live with five wives here <laughs> anything because there are more than enough wives. <laughs> i think one wife please yeah, 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 i don't yeah. support multiple okay that's you know, my, I, my father married two wives okay. i'm last born to my mom which is the first wife so i know the I pain is. of having your husband marry another person so okay. that is not so that that's by the way though personal yeah. choice all i'm trying to say is it can be anything yes, it I'm can sure. be anything anything the way we built it very futuristic yeah. it, we can have even tourists live here for a day or two yes yes we have so the next question bro yeah like you've traveled i've seen your channel involved yeah from comedy skits yeah to try to interview Colombia fine ladies on the yeah, streets yes so I know that by by the end of this year yeah. this month yeah you're going to hit 500,000 which is half a million yeah by the end is, of this month for which sure. is a big milestone for a yeah, for person like you it's really big what is next for the for Ayamaru's YouTube channel so after half a million I'll be just waiting for one million and from there I don't think even if I need more subscribers <laughs> because I think when you have one million yeah. What else do you want in this life? I think the best thing should be just you creating content and impacting life. Yes. Because sometimes we get so much caught up with the numbers, chasing these numbers, 
we forget like the real deal of these numbers. Yes, that's true. And uh, also sometimes I'll also encourage or discourage people who actually all the time look at numbers on YouTube. Yeah. Because YouTube is not about numbers. Bro, I can tell you yes. that. Even, yes. even me, I have over, over 70k subscribers. Yeah. My channel, because my channel was built into many things. Yeah. Like politics, commenting on politics in Nigeria. Yeah. You know, commenting on shows that is yeah. important. So. Yeah. When I travel, if you want, I will help you. If you feel no, no, okay, no problem. Okay. Yes. When I travel, yeah. people who are already on my channel at, yeah. at 30k, yeah. they were not that active with travel videos. So they are used like, to what, what the hell exactly. is going on? Exactly. So I can show you that honestly, coming here actually helped to wake up my channel. Yeah, in that terms I'm, of traveling. Exactly. That I'm very grateful for. Yeah. And my next question is. I've come around here, I've monitored how you have been able to change so many people's lives. Even I've even asked some people one-on-one, yes. on one, yeah. they have to share their story, yeah. some are very emotional. Yeah. I want to do, a, what, what comment do you have to make to people you have inspired yeah. and people you are still inspiring? If, if, if you feel you at a point where Amaro has helped you and you can help yourself already, and you feel you can pass it along to somebody else, yeah. just do it. Don't hold, just say, oh, you know, now I can make my own money. Yeah. I think now I'm rich, that guy is poor, I don't want his stories. Because I gave you a chance. Yes, when, exactly. When, when maybe nobody knew about you, I said, okay, you can film, okay, feel okay to walk around my compound, do the video. I gave you my time and yeah. you feel you're successful. Share that also to somebody else. Exactly. Yes. Thank you so much, bro. Yes. And that thing is, someone that has been as people has been Let asking me, me. oh this thank you so much you know you know my camera yes. i had issue with my three insta 360 camera okay. one of the you know, it has two le two legs in both sides okay so one, one part cracked okay i'm fixing it and also plan to buy a new one maybe a gopro or something yeah but that's by the way so the next question is it's actually a question but some people have been asking me yeah because we have trapped as i have showcased this village so many yeah. people are interested in trying to get properties around here yeah because they can see the future that's true yeah, exactly so people have asked me on instagram yeah how much is a, an acre of land yeah here in yabohanze actually we are trying to keep it private okay. so that so that sorry yeah, so sorry. that we don't we don't spoil the prices yeah because we don't want somebody coming from the uk because he's able to afford to buy a piece of land that we could have bought at a lower price yes and then the entire community we can't even afford people who are from here that's true and if i'm building up youtubers from the start yeah let's say youtubers are growing these youtubers are looking up to the point where they grow and buy land and they own property yeah but if we tell people how much this land is costing and maybe for them it's cheap they come get this land at even double prices yeah then even if i inspire these people they will have to work double to acquire the same piece of land that, so that's why we never talk about price. Uh, price if you realize we always just say and it's something we've agreed as, as YouTubers, as, as the community of here, to oh. just put it private. Exactly. Yes. I think that, that's a good business yes. because this place is, is actually growing so fast. Yes. Yes. Like today, I just came from Nasto. He's already starting to build his house. Yeah. Mayuguna is building on this other direction. My, God. Yeah, you have My sister is coming so very soon and she'll start building. I don't know why she's building. Maybe she'll just uh, say we have enough. Work on your own? Yes. Whoa. So. Yeah, that's 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 what we are. If you're watching from Ayamara, please subscribe to Kenneth here. And this guy has been very patient here. It's been crazy. I wish yeah. I met you yesterday, like we did videos, but my day was just the way it was. Do you know what I wanted to ask you yeah. before I came? I was like, yeah. I wanted to document 24 hours in a documentary. I'm telling you, because, if, because if you filmed that, oh it my would be God. something else. The way I'm, I'm running to Migori, I'm Jeez. doing this, I'm doing that. Well, I hope in future, you're yeah. able to do that. Yeah, but yeah, I think but... it will be less easier. Yes. It will be easier, I mean, then in the future. than right now. Because right now, we are now building. Yes. So it's, it's the time that everything is... You see, like right today, I have less pressure because those guys there, they are building. Yeah. So we already finished the foundation. So right now, it's just do this do this but before i need to bring the metals i need to bring the ballast i need to bring the sand i need to bring the cement i need to bring i don't know what binding so that pressure is going yeah. okay all right the, the, the last discussion man thank yes. you so much bro i really right. appreciate it yes yeah and guys i am um, if you want to know how this this man the gentleman here if you know how, how you're able to draw this place yes. kindly check the description over there i have his link i always share your link of all the videos there thank you for your master class yes get his master class to learn how he do this yes guys i'm teaching people how to be a youtuber and sometimes it doesn't have to deal p 
purely being a, an influencer. You can even just talk with me. You have some questions you've always asked. Maybe you exactly. saw me with some beautiful girl somewhere and you want to know if I still have plans to marry her or not. <laughs> yeah, so we, this is the time you can actually talk. All right. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, bro. Guys, if you're watching from my Amara, please subscribe to Kenneth and let's get him 100,000 subscribers. So much. Thank All you right. so much, bro. All right. Bro. Thank you.